Tim Flanagan, founder of the Ski Profit. I'm here with Jeff Curtis. You are the marketing guru for Vocal Marker <laughs> USA, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Have been for a long time. I know. You've, you've done a good job, too. So I took out your Beer League slalom ski today here at Snow Base in Utah, where it's coming down hard. On the groomed runs today, there, there's a lot of fresh snow coming down, obviously, right? Yeah. So there were p piles of snow and everything else. This thing diced it up. I love the way it skis. It's also very snappy. What makes this ski work? The difference between this one and the one that we've had in the past and what makes it a little easier in soft snow is that tip rocker in the front. Ah. Uh, so you've really got just a little bit more ability of the ski to kind of find its way through the snow. It's getting that tip up off the snow. The other thing is with the vibration damping of the Uvo, you have all the piles of snow, so the ski's constantly going like this. With the Uvo, it quiets down that vibration, so it makes the ski feel more smooth. Um, the other thing is you have a little more power thanks to the new Marker XL uh, binding on our new R-Motion 2 system. So we've really totally revamped this slalom ski from the top to bottom. So it's a whole new package. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, brand new ski. Well, so coming off total knee replacement, my doctor insisted that I continue skiing on narrow skis for a while. Mm -hmm. And these are this is just a great all-mountain cruising ski. What is it underfoot? Uh, it's a little bit wider. It's uh, it's 68 underfoot now. So the, the older one is, uh, is is 65. So we've made it just a little bit wider. Even though it's one of the narrower skis in the range, it is just that little bit wider. It's easier to stand on. With the more powerful binding, we're able to drive a little bit wider ski and have it feel just as narrow, just as quick. Yeah, well, that's good. You know, a lot of these super narrow skis, if you really stomp on them in softer snow, it feels like they trench out. Yeah. But it's wide enough in the tip, and I guess with the tip rocker, too, it really doesn't have the tendency to do that. So you can stomp on it in a day like today. You don't feel like you're going to bottom out and end up hitting the rocks or no, something no, underneath so not it's it's a smoother more versatile ski that's still very very quick powerful too it's got at the end of the turn it's got a ton of snap so it'll yeah. launch you into the oh, next yeah. one so it's a really fun ski anyone, yeah anyone looking for that quick everyday slalom type ski is going to love these yeah when the conditions get firm especially you know yeah. it makes the mountain fun again absolutely so there you go get to a vocal dealer and next season this is the 2015 and uh thanks for watching ski gear tv